Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and we're doing or catching up to the Kingsland FC career mode and um, we're on episode 2 but this is probably more like a 1.5 kind of episode so what's happened is we've had to go back to square one there were loads of issues with the EA setting up the next uh, the next set, the next year's career mode so a lot of people didn't get any of like the benefits of pre-ordering early so none of the, the future star stuff or any of that stuff so basically what I've then had to do is I had to go back restart the whole thing I've tried to keep every, all the settings exactly the same no differences what we've got now is we've got a player called Horton who you can see in left striker and that is our young player that we got for pre-ordering the Ulmer edition I think or just pre-ordering generally the game I can't remember which one it is but basically we didn't have that before so it's apart from that I've targeted the same player so I've gone and bought Dembele that's all stayed the same there's also a couple more transfers to come later on this episode and I've tried to go a little bit further to not do everything all new but I did have to start all over again so this recording was actually like three hours long um, it was kind of brutal but anyways I actually skipped um, a game there as you can see and we um, we won 2-1 sorry we lost 2-1 to Salford which was pretty sad and then we come against Hartlepool and obviously that was a quick sim I just quickly went through that one I wanted to actually sim this one so I can actually go through it properly and everything else oh by the way everything else in this remained exactly the same so I made sure that the points up until that point were exactly the same and all that lovely stuff um but okay so up against Hartlepool as you can see we went uh, one nil down then we brought it back to one all I think I can't remember the way around it went and then we just started getting absolutely slapped so I moved it so 3-1 half time I then went to go and uh, drop into the match and legendary on this FIFA it's just like a whole other breed when you've got a terrible set of players um, if you're league two squad because they just I just couldn't do anything I would, the, my players weren't quick enough they weren't strong enough you'll see at the end here this is like to make it 4-3 towards the end and you can see my player just ran out of steam couldn't do anything they I actually did score to make it 3-2 but then they scored to make it 4-2 and then they scored to make it uh, to make it 5-2 so yeah, they uh, that was a that was a rough rough game. So we lost five two to them going into the game against Scunthorpe, and I'm hoping to pick up some points because we are not doing that well. If I'm honest, we're not looking like we're going to get promoted in the first season. Obviously, with Barrow, we got back to back promotion pretty much from the start. We had a good start against Scunthorpe, and then I don't know if you saw what just happened there, but he gave the goalkeeper gave the ball away right at the edge of his six yard box. And obviously, they're going to score, and then they scored another one shortly after that to make it two one. And it was just a bit brutal from there on in, really. Then they then made it 3-1, literally before the half an hour point. So yeah, we were just getting straight savage, to be honest. Uh, we then did uh, pull one back to make with through Horton through that that um, that young player to make it 3-2. Uh, we then scored again to equalise, make it three all, and it was just. From there, it was just stalemate. I mean, as you can see there, they absolutely brutalised us, but still only meant ended end up three all. But anyway, then we come against Oldham, and this I literally skipped through the whole thing. Like I watched this entire game, and it was so boring. No one could do anything. You can see there were barely any chances throughout the game. They had one right at the end. They should have scored, to be honest, and they didn't. So anyway, so at this point, I'm like, right, we've lost. We've lost one. We've drawn two in a row. Let's just get some players in. So I targeted a Cam from um, Fulham. And like I said, this is Weathers buying Dembele. So he's already in the club. I then targeted Fabio Carvalho. That's quite hard to say, actually. Um, like I say, from Fulham. And then I saw um, Gun Gunnarsson. He's, he's, uh, he's a free agent. So I was like, well, that's an absolute steal. So I picked Gunnarsson up because he can actually play centre-back. Um, and he's one of our better centre-backs. And I, then we went into the game against Colchester with those new players in tow. And we still got slapped. <laughs> so we go one nil down. We then go one all through Ryan, um, which is a, a, a young a young player that was just generated for, from the start of the game. I think he's our winger. But then they go two one up, um, and then shortly after that they then go three one up before half time. And again, I'm sat here going, do I jump in? Do I jump in? Um, and then they make it for one with a shot to the near post. I don't know if it's our keepers just not saving anything, but something's wrong. Something's very wrong. So I jumped in, and as you can see from the time, nothing happened. I just could not break down the defence with the, with the players that we've got. So I then tried to loan out some strikers, that are some good strikers, some quick strikers. Um, so via Balogun from um, Arsenal. 
I also tried a West Ham young talent. I also tried West Ham's young right back who just played against Manchester City actually and still couldn't get him because um, they both declined the loan and that's pretty much where we ended up leaving it is we finished the transfer window, we couldn't sign anybody, no one half decent anyway um, and so we were just simply left with signing Gunnarsson, signing um, signing the camp from Fulham, I've already forgot his name, um, and signing Dembele and that was where it was left. Um, it was pretty sad to be honest because I don't, I mean... Based on how we're doing so far, I don't think we're going to get promoted into the into the, into the League One this season. It's probably going to take a second season to actually manage to do that. Um, we did have our um, again to make it even more sad. We had a couple of decent young talents come through. I mean, they don't really break into the first team, but they're still there. Um, then our scouting report. Oh, it's so sad. So we have one for Nigeria, and the best we got was that 88 rated maximum potential, but that's not going to be a potential he's going to hit. And then we had the English scout find one guy with a 90 rate potential and that's it as well. I mean, he's terrible as well. So, yeah, I think it, I think this is going to be a rebuild sort of season. We're going to struggle, I think, to do very well. But anyways, that's where we're at. I have, like I said, sorry for taking so long to upload anything. I've had to re-go through and do this all over again. So now we're up to date. And yeah, I'll keep doing some more of these videos. And um, yeah, have a good one. Catch you soon. See ya.